I guess you are watching this video because your computer is running into an issue here as you are trying to open a program you have recently installed. This error arrived. The program can start because Qt Core 4.dll is missing from your computer. It's a very critical issue and all you need to do is watch this video till the end without skipping. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this issue within 3 minutes. So, let's begin. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for Qt Core 4.dll. You can choose any results, I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. If you scroll down, you can see a lot of download options based on the architecture of Windows. To know your architecture, click on Start and search for System Information. Here you can see my new 64 bit. As I am downloaded to the updated Windows, I am downloading the 64 bit one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has multiple fixing method also. The download complete, hit open. The downloaded GIF has two files, one is the DLL and the other one is readme. To move the DLL, open this PC, local disk C, Windows and find a folder name system32. There it is. Now click on the downloaded GIF, drag the DLL and drop. I have already done this so there is key me to replace. And click on continue. Before we proceed, let's check. By typing the file name, we can see the file is properly placed in this folder. If you are 64 bit users, open this PC one more time. Local disk C, Windows, and this time find a folder name syswav64. There it is. And same again. Drag and drop. Check this one more time. Yeah, it is properly placed. And in the end, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if the error still occurs, you need to fix by updating your Windows and then install your program again. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you'll no longer have that problem left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.